There are several ways to get a model into visual analysis besides drawing it inside visual analysis itself. Let's talk about those ways. The first way is to use the clipboard exchange, which is demonstrated in another video. Now let's look at the file menu option and go to the import category and notice the options we have. We have the ability to merge another VAP file into an existing one. We can read data in via a DXF file that you might have created with the CAD program. We can read information in with a STAD file. One thing to comment about the STAD file is it does not support all of the STAD file extensions, so data that comes in might not be complete. We can read it in using an SDNF file or a steel detail neutral format file. We can bring it in from Revit structure model, and this is demonstrated in another video. The last thing we can do is to import a cold form library that you might have created with CFS software. That will be added then to your shapes list, and you can design using those shapes. Let's quickly go through some of these. First thing I would like to do is demonstrate the merge. And I'm going to open a project that I've called Frame, and it's simply a frame of members. I also have another project that I was working on outside of this that has areas in it, and I'm going to go ahead and bring that into this project as well. So if I go to File, Import, Merge VAP File, I'm going to bring in this file called Walls. When I do that, you see that three walls have been brought in and inserted into the existing project. So a way then to bring in or merge projects together exists in the Import category. Now let's talk about DXF files. This is a, an example of a CAD file where I have several objects. I have an arc, I have a circle, I have an ellipse, I have a set of lines. These are not polylines, they're just isolated lines. I do have a closed polyline, and I got a couple points up here showing. So let's look at how we can merge this information into visual analysis. I'm going to start with a new project, and I'm going to go to File, Import, DXF File, and I'm going to specify the DXF file that I was just showing you. So I'm going to do that, and the following dialog comes up. It's telling me I have two points that can come in only as nodes. If I wanted to change the default the nodes would be, I could set their prefix name and support conditions here. I have three plane lines that are going to come in as members, and I can set some information about the members, like the, like the shape, the material, whether it's going to have a rigid or simple connection, and some other options. I have one polyline that can come in as members, and the polyline members can be set, just like the line members. I have a circle, and what to do with the circle? I have two choices. I can import it as an area, or as a chain of members, if I'm going to right now set it as import as areas. I have one ellipse as well that can be imported as an area or a member, and I have one closed polyline that can be imported as an area. Some general options I have is I can use the layer name in options, so if my DXL file has several layers, that layer name will be appended to the object brought in. I have to set my units in the DXF file from inches all the way up to meters, so the length units need to be set. If for some reason I'd like to expand or contract my model, I can multiply all of the DXF coordinates by a factor. When I have arcs and circles, I have a setting for how many divisions I will break that into if I were to import it as areas or members. And lastly, if I want to swap the Y and Z coordinates from my CAD file into VA, I can do that. So let's go ahead and select OK and see what we get. We can see the arc coming in as a string of members. We can see the circle coming in as an area, and I'll have 10 segments around the edge because that was my setting. I have the individual lines coming in as members. I have my two points coming in as nodes. My ellipse comes in as an area, and my closed polyline comes in as an area. Let's talk for a second about exporting from VA to another format. If I go to the File option, Export, 
we see we can export our current project as a DXF file. If I say that, I need to pick a DXF file name. And now I have options as to how it will go out. My 21 nodes can go out as points and I can specify a layer name. My 17 members can go out as lines. My units I can set as well as a multiplier and whether to swap or not. I'll cancel out of that. In addition for exporting, I can export this to a STAD file, an SDNF file, a SketchUp file for Google SketchUp if you're interested in doing that, and as a Revit structure project.